You think you're culturally competent? Let's find out. The nurse is interviewing a non-English speaking client. Which best practices will the nurse use when working with a professional medical interpreter for clients of limited English proficiency? Select all that apply. Now, as the nurse, what are you going to do to ensure you can conduct this client interview effectively? Let's review each answer option like a true and false. Address the interpreter directly. Talking to the interpreter directly and ignoring the client isn't the best way to convey trust, respect, and is not aligned with client-centered care. Number two, ask the client's adult child to translate. Okay, now although this may seem very realistic, a family member or friend may not have the vocabulary, the knowledge, or skills to provide the best communication for the client. They may even miss important pieces of information. Number three, hold a pre-conference with the interpreter. This might actually help us. Why? Because we're able to review the goals of the interview and ensure both the nurse and interpreter are on the same page. Number four, identify any gender preferences. Okay, here we are offering our client a choice and encouraging decision making. Now by doing this, we can ensure the client is comfortable speaking with the interpreter during the interview. Number five, speak in short sentences. Using this communication strategy allows the interpreter to speak when there are intentional pauses and can promote client understanding. Which strategies will you choose? Comment below.